are three S's. That's sinking, separation, and silting. So many people take shortcuts when they install pipe and they don't solvent weld. Because of that, pipes fall out of fittings, pipes fall out of uh, connections with other pipes, and we see a lot of separation in the pipe. So we're constantly finding pipes that are just emitting water into the earth around the pipe, creating erosion and uh, sinkholes and that sort of thing, wet yards. So we're correcting those often. Um, it's basically a bad install uh, from the guy before, and that's the issue. Silting is exactly what the name says. Pipes are just filled with silts. It could be fines, it could be sand, it could be gravel, it could be actually pretty large stones, it could be a tennis ball, it could be a Barbie doll, it could be anything in there. And a lot of times what it is is granules from the roof. Residential applications, roof granules just shed, go inside the gutter, travel down the downspout, and then make their way into the system. So all that silting will actually dam up inside the pipe and hold a lot of water and then the system is stifled, it just doesn't perform right. So we really recommend routine maintenance, jetting of those pipes, draw everything out, scour the walls of the pipe, get the pipe back in working order and move on. Third S, sinking. By its namesake, the name says what it is. The pipes go out of pitch because they sink. The reason why they sink is during the backfill process, they don't compact or take enough time to really pack around the pipe. So everything is loosely filled in, the pipe over time then uh, falls because the earth compacts and gravity pushes everything down out of whack. So a pipe really has to be set properly, solvent welded and fixed so that you have some semblance of pitch and you can maintain that pitch. Um, sometimes we use masonry blocks below elbows to hold everything up.